How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode Let's Play. In the last episode we have finally gotten the Rod of Discord, which is amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy that we've got it. And what it also means is that... Sorry Squirrel. Uh, what it does mean is that I'm now confident and ready to go and fight the Duke Fishron. Pew pew pew. So what we're going to do is make a quick farm for some truffle worms and our arena is pretty much ready to go so we just need truffles and then we're fighting the fish run. Oh my gosh and I want to get a few truffles because <laughs> I like how I'm talking <laughs> like I'm going to farm him like I, I just have to kill him once first. Um, I've heard he's pretty tough in expert mode so yeah we'll see how we go but let's get started anyway. And here we are under our rod of discord arena or farm. And here is our sorry excuse for a, mm, for a farm for truffles. And it's looking a bit sad, so we need to do a little bit of handiwork here. But that's okay. So I've just brought along some mud blocks, and quite simply, the easiest thing to do is literally just create lots of uh, flat runs of mud, and then, yeah, just change them into uh, mushroom grass. And over time, you'll just end up with lots of mushroom mobs spawning on them, including lovely truffles. So yeah, it's worth setting up. I'll probably want to farm quite a few fish runs. Um, drops I'm really interested in are the fish run wings, because they are super fast. And also the flare on, um, which is a pretty beefy weapon. Even I was using it um, well into 1.3 and people started asking me, they're like, why are you still using Flare On? I'm like, it's such a good weapon. <laughs> and the spawn rates are pretty high around here, which is nice. So if we can get this set up nicely, it should be pretty good. It should be good. And I might drain a bit of this water off too. So we'll get some of that draining. So yeah, basically, um, I think you guys know the basic design I'm going to go with here, so I'll zoom ahead and uh, hopefully some wormies do spawn. And it's time to farm some truffles. Well, actually, I should say it's truffle time. <laughs> so basically, all I've done is just make lots of muddy platforms. And yeah, luckily the halo doesn't interfere with mushroom biomes. It's only the corruption you have to worry about. So all I'm going to do is... Oh, there's one now. <gasps> Come here. Yes, got one. Uh, all I have to do is sort of run around and, yeah, hopefully pick up some truffly goodness. Now, truffles count as a mob, so it is worth it to kill other mobs that, um, that are on screen to help more truffles spawn. Um, so yeah, but this shouldn't take too long at all. And get rid of these annoying things. Oh, these are the worst. These fungi, fungi bulb things. Mostly because of those spore things they shoot. Beautiful. Okay, so on the lookout for truffles. I think at this stage I'll just get like three, and then hopefully Duke Fishrun doesn't like eat my soul in like two hits. And um, yeah. Quick and go. No, you killed it. You killed the truffle. You silly skeleton. Goodness me. I can't go around killing my truffles. It just doesn't make sense. Goodness. Animal cruelty. <gasps> truffle! Truffle! Yes! How many truffles are we up to? Two. Let's put let's put our truffle in the hot bar. So we can keep keep track of truffles. Maybe I shouldn't be using the uh, pulse bow. It might kill truffles without realizing. So yeah, I think three is a good number. And then, boy howdy, let's just have a go at Duke Fishron. What have we got to lose? Accept our pride. <laughs> oh goodness. 
Okay, Twaffles, where are you? Oh my goodness, these things are annoying. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, a good trick, and I might put it in the description for you. Because I had to wait for ages for all the mushroom grass to grow, I had about 10 seeds total, so I spread them out. What you can actually do is alt tab out of Terraria. And to do it, what you do is you put your, um, you put your Terraria into windowed mode. So you just go to your settings, go windowed. And then, um, ooh, luminance slime. And then you pick an item that doesn't do anything to the game world, like a net. And you just click the Terraria icon in your hotbar. And if you still hear the music playing, it means that Terraria is tabbed out, but it's still active. So if you're waiting for stuff to grow, it's a really good way that you can still use your computer. But um, yeah, like stuff is still happening in the game world. Glowing snail. I don't think I've seen one of those. Uh, they're not actually that impressive. <laughs> I thought it was going to have like, you know, 300% beat power. <laughs> but it's just normal. That's okay. <gasps> I killed a truffle! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Poor twaffles. Oh goodness. The dangers of farming for twaffle. Okay. We're almost there. Well, anyway, I'm going to jump around here for a bit. I'll see you at the Duke Fisheron Arena once I've found my last truffle. So, last minute preparation. I was just thinking about accessories for the Fisheron fight, and I was looking at the shiny stone, and that's not going to work against Fisheron because you never stop moving. I was looking at the uh, Aya Golem and Avenger Emblem, and although making the Destroyer Emblem slightly reduces their stats, you do get both for one accessory. So I'm actually going to take that one. I think that's going to be useful because we just want to pump up the damage on our Mega Shark. I actually think it would be worthwhile to do some reforging here too. So 12 gold. I've got quite a bit of platinum from our playthrough. So, um, so let's see. All right. I'm just wondering if it's better, because we're wearing beetle armor, should I just go all out on damage accessories? I don't want to just make shroomite armor, like it's too easy. And not, not that it makes it easy, but I'm doing that on the Gavin playthrough, so I would want to mix it up a bit. Uh, boots are probably going to be useful, just to keep the speed up. And no, I can't make lightning boots because I still haven't found an aglet. Let's see. Uh, I wouldn't mind damage or crit on this, I reckon. Uh, crit's probably good too. Alright, and our worm scarf. Let's see. Critical strike. Excellent. So that's got us up to 34 with 29% crit. That's pretty nice. And what are we going to put? Oh, maybe I should put Charm of Myth. Yeah, we're probably going to need that extra heal. Excellent, excellent. So I'm pretty happy with that lineup. That's that's feeling good. Now, could I try and get the Unreal modifier? Yes, you can get Unreal. So let's have a go. This could be expensive. <laughs> oh wow, that was easy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That's crazy. Now for summons, I just wonder what's because I'm going to be moving so much, probably Deadly Sphere is probably going to be more useful, I reckon. Oh my god, I just re just re-rolled Ruthless. That's what I was trying to get. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Oh, Happy, what are you doing? See, normally I'm just looking for the most expensive re-roll. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Normally you just want the most expensive, but um, let's try and get Ruthless on our Pygmies too. Just in case. Masterful, but manic, shoddy. Oh my gosh, there's so many modifiers. It's crazy. Thankfully, this isn't too expensive to reroll. You know, the danger is if you click too quickly, you may go past it. Um, I'll probably be using Nimbus, so let's try and get better on that. Murderous. I don't actually know what the best modifier for this is. I assume it's better than demonic. 
So demonic was nine gold. So once you learn what um, price certain modifiers are, you can just keep rolling and look at the gold amount. So I'm not even looking at what it is. I think mystic... No, I reckon we can do better. Surely there is a better one. I don't want to check the wiki. I've got a, I've just got a feeling. Oh, demonic. No, that'll do. Close enough. And I don't think pulse bow would be very useful against fish one. The last thing we need to do is just make a bed. <laughs> we just need a bed. So silk. We need wood. We need a sawmill. Where have I put the sawmill? Do I have a sawmill? Yeah, there it is. Okay, beautiful. Can I make a bed? A mushroom sofa? A mushroom bed? That's kind of crazy. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. Palm wood bed. Beautiful. And let's see. I think that's it, guys. I think we're ready. Got honey. Got that. Party girl, you haven't moved in while I wasn't looking. Nope, cool. Yeah, of course you haven't. Crazy girl. Alright, and we've got plenty of potions. Yep. <gasps> it's go time. And here we are just putting the finishing touches on our Fishron Arena. And as I mentioned, unfortunately Party Girl hasn't spawned. So I'm just going to use the old honey run trick that I've come up with. Um, it's not perfect, but as you, as you can see, it does still work. And because of the asphalt blocks, it doesn't seem to slow us down too much, which is nice. Um, very cool. Uh, the other thing I want to set up is a heart statue, which would be nice. And of course, I've forgotten a timer as always. <laughs> uh, and we've just got our bed to put in uh, to our lovely little room here. So let's make this all comfortable. Spawn point, beautiful. However, I'll pick that up because I want to teleport home. All right, next step is fighting fish run. And here we go, people. The buffs are on, the spheres are summoned, and it's time for the fish run. Ah! This is crazy. Oh my god, it's go time, people. It's go time. And maybe I should try running. So the plan is just to try and keep ahead of him as much as possible. And uh, yeah, see if... Um... Oh my gosh, I love... I love Discord. <laughs> so good. Uh, I'll try and set up some Nimbus actually because they do uh, protect you from a lot of his attacks and I've been confused. <laughs> Which is not good. Okay, shaky start but I can recover. There we go. Alright, back in the zone. Now, some of you... Some of you have hinted that he does something a bit evil. Uh, in the comments, and I actually haven't fought him. Um, when I was making my initial 1.3 tutorial videos, uh, pretty much I just blasted him with an endgame character, so he died in pretty much, you know, hardly any hits at all. But some of you have said something happened, so... <laughs> does he have a third form? <laughs> that's really mean if he does. If you were just trying to trick me, that's mean too. <laughs> Ah, okay, I think I see what you mean. The sky is blue. Oh my god, he's teleporting! What the hell? That's not fair, you can't teleport! <laughs> oh goodness. Oh my gosh, he can appear in- <gasps> He appears in front of you! Oh my god, that's really tough. <laughs> oh, he wasn't too bad up until then. Okay, I can do this. I was a bit rusty, but I can do this. Gotta shake it off. Shake it off. Hey! I s oh, did I not set the spawn point? Yeah, okay. So Fisheron's pretty tough in expert mode. I'll pay that. He's a tough fish. But, uh... We're gonna do this. We are going to beat the Fisheron. It must be possible. It's just that last stage. He, um... 
he sort of catches you off guard a bit. I don't know his pattern for it yet. Like, he seems to teleport just above you, but then I don't know if it's a random amount of charges afterwards. Oh, I'm confused. Ah. Yeah, I don't know if he goes like teleport, charge, charge, or if it's random, which would be really cool. That would be kind of awesome, um, because that makes him harder to predict. So this is the problem with his first form, like once you understand his pattern, it's not too bad. So you know, he's just, um, he charges five times, he stops and does one of his attacks. It's not too bad. His second form can get trickier, because he's a lot faster. Ow. But yeah, I, I don't know if his last form, if it's random or not because I can't exactly just stop and have a chat to him about it. And you don't really get, you don't get much time to react, like it's, yeah. Okay, he's in his second form, we've made it that far. The beetle armor seems to be helping, because we get that free sort of defense against one attack. Because once beetle endurance is up to 45% damage off, with the worm scarf we seem to survive one hit pretty nicely just this last last move of his this last form I love it by the way so thank you to the people that were hinting at it I was just like I don't even know what you're talking about <laughs> yeah come on ah. <laughs> it was like a standoff moment no ah. what a terrible spot oh my goodness okay he's got his tornadoes in a good spot there you're not supposed to have strategy, you're just a fish run. That's all you'll ever be. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on, what you got, fish? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, there's stuff everywhere. How long am I off of potion? Oh, like, way too long. Oh my god. I think falling out of the sky works. That's so bizarre because you instantly dodge him. Oh my gosh, heal, 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 heal! <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Yes! Yes! We beat that fish on. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah, falling out of the sky works. Who would have thunk it? So, because you're falling, he can't actually get a bead on you. Like he charges to where you used to be. Wow, Moon Charm as well. Are you ready to open the treasure chest? This is gonna be awesome. Oh my god, let's do it. Oh, I am so excited. This is so magical. Are you ready? Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> we got this. Oh, of course, you always get the Shrimpy Truffle. <laughs> yes! I love Shrimpy Truffle. <laughs> Just don't make him crawl. And Razor Blade Typhoon. Oh my goodness. Actually, that's probably a pretty sweet item we got. Um, just because homing... Actually, that'd be pretty good for Pumpkin Moon, I reckon. Yeah. Wow. Mana might be an issue. But that said, we can have it like... We can have it like in our... Yeah, in our maybe one slot. Cast it and then just swap to Mega Shark in between. I like that. This is, this is good. Should we fight him again? Yeah! And thanks as always for watching another episode of our 1.3 Expert Mode Let's Play. It's awesome that we've defeated Duke Fishron. Um, oh, I can't, I can't believe it. He's such a cool boss to fight. He's so awesome. And um, now that we've beaten him, I wouldn't mind fighting him a few more times. Might whip up a quick AFK farm for it. So we can just send our summons out to quickly smash him. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, big news, I'm adding a straw poll to this video with the next selections based on comments from you over the last week or so for our new expert mode let's play so Gavin and this current expert mode series are not over like they've still got a few episodes to go but they are getting close to the end so it is important we start to think about what we're going to do next so the choices are there's four and I've just as I've said I've based them off the main ones that keep coming up in the comments 
So, yes, yo-yos is on the list. <laughs> and, look, I'm interested in yo-yoing. I think it looks pretty cool. And I purposely haven't used yo-yos in this expert mode uh, playthrough, just in case we do a series on them. Uh, another uh, choice has come up a lot. It's called the Warlock. And it's a mage character that only uses books and staffs, or staves. Um, and it would be a really good challenge, especially they've added a few uh, new mage weapons along those lines to Terraria. Would be very cool. Uh, next one is a Blade Master, uh, which is a character that can only use swords in Terraria. And there's been a ton of new swords added to the game. Uh, finishing off, you'd be aiming for the Meow Mare and stuff like that towards the end. Uh, could be a cool Let's Play. And yes, there would be some... Ooh, strange plant. <laughs> there would be some copper short sword fun in there somewhere as well, I'm sure. And our last one is... What have I called it? Oh, I called it something striker. Oh, goodness. Something striker. Goodness. I'm so sorry. Anyway, it's a bows only let's play. A lot of you have been saying there's been so many bows added to Terraria. A big one is the hallowed bow. Oh, my gosh. Uh, the one that shoots straight up in the air and then st shoots straight down. Uh, very cool, very cool bow. I like it. Um, so there's your four choices. I'm going to leave the straw poll open for about a week. And basically, here's how I run it, guys. You know, you've got to vote. I mean, there's no point saying, oh, I didn't get my choice if you, you didn't vote. <laughs> um, so I run it for a week. Normally, I'm looking for a clear winner. So last time, I think we had about 1,000 people vote on the last one. No, it was 2,000. I think it was about that. And the winning series, which was the Gunslinger, yes, you, you guys chose Gunslinger, um, it was well in front, so it wasn't even close. So that's what I'm looking for again. If we have a draw, we'll do a quick uh, straw poll between the two, uh, the two classes that drew. Um, so that's basically all there is to it. And also, I think I did this last time as well. I said there has to be a minimum amount of votes for something to win. Not just, oh, five people could be bothered, so they get to pick the next series. There needs to be support from the community, otherwise I, I will just pick what I want to do. So I think the winning, uh, the winning class needs to be ahead, and it needs to get at least 3,000 votes. So our channel has over 55,000 subscribers. I'm not saying that to brag or anything, but surely, you know, if you want a series, show me you want it. And vote. It's that simple. <laughs> Alrighty. I think 3,000 is achievable. Ooh, an iron skin potion. That's cool. Alright, it's time for some shout-outs, as always, as I stay out of the rain. And it always reminds me, <laughs> you don't do it as much in Terraria, but in Minecraft, I love it when it's raining and you're inside a, like, a little building or a shelter. It's just really nice. Like You're inside and you get that, that feeling of being out of the rain. Even the sound... They do the sound so well on it as well. Sometimes I'd build like little um, lumberjack cottages out, out in my tree farms and just sort of just chill out during the rain. It was awesome. Okay, stop talking happy. Do the shout outs. All right, cool. All right, our first one is from Gabe Lugo. And he's asked me to say, Today, in the name of freedom, we take the fight to them. And I'm pretty sure it's a movie quote and I'm pretty sure it's from Transformers. Gabe, that's awesome. Thanks for the... Uh, Oh, I love when people do movie quotes for shoutouts. So cool. All right. Our next one is from Creeper857. He's asked me to say in a crazy voice. He's asked me to say, crazy happy likes crazy cookies. <laughs> Thanks, Creeper. That's awesome. Uh, our next one is from Dat Terraria Guy. Dat Terraria Guy. And he's asked me to say in a deep voice. <laughs> That's not deep enough. <clears throat> he's asked me to say in a deep voice. Rainbows and kittens and all the pretty stuff. <laughs> Thanks for that, Dat Terraria guy. Our next one's from Blaster Maniac. And he's asked me to say in a demon voice, demon. Demons are strange. You can either go like that imp demon, which is like the cheeky, <laughs> or you can be like the evil. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, like that evil sinister demon. He's just asked me to say bubbles in a demon voice. So, hmm, I think I'll go. Oh. How am I going to do this? <laughs> Bubbles! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, thanks for that blaster. Our last one today is from uh, Alfiat, Alfiat? Alfiat 456 And he's asked me to say in Gavin's voice, 
He's asked me to say, Moon Lord's next. Let's kill him with my boom boom pew pew thing. <laughs> Love it. <coughs> oh my god, guys, these voices. Oh, they're too deep. Ah! Okay, thanks as always for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, and hell, I mean, if you just thought awesome killed Duke Fishron, I think that deserves a like just in itself. <laughs> um, but if you have enjoyed the episode, Leave that little like button, click the like button, try and click it with your forehead. Look, I really don't mind how you do it. Lick it with your tongue, whatever works for you. Get your cat to sit on it. That doesn't even work. Cats can't use mice. They eat mice, but they can't use them. Um, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know, if you've enjoyed the episode, it takes a second to click it. Uh, keep those comments coming in and vote on the straw poll. You know, let your comment be heard. Let your vote be counted. And if you have not subscribed yet, click the little HD icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> and uh, I started going into a different voice for some reason. We do a lot of fun stuff on this channel, guys, and come and be part of it. So, you know, be part of it. Be part of our happy little crew here. Okay, until next time, you will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day, signing out. See y'all. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!